A head spinning Texas border battle has local law enforcement on edge. I feel very nervous because I don't, I don't have any, any information. And the nation watching what could be a seismic shift in immigration enforcement. Overnight, an appeals court put a controversial policy on hold once again that would have let state and local police in Texas arrest migrants suspected of entering the country illegally. What's going on on the border is nothing short of catastrophic. Just yesterday, the U.S. Supreme Court had refused to block the law and sent the case back to the lower court, which today heard oral arguments on the Biden administration's request to throw the policy out on the grounds the federal government has sole authority over immigration. An attorney for Texas arguing the state is stepping in because the federal government isn't doing enough to stop what has been a record influx of migrants crossing the border in recent months. It seems to me that Congress has said we want the immigration laws enforced. And if the United States isn't going to do it, either because they don't have the resources or because they don't have the will, well, they, 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 they're no, they've no longer occupied the field. The government's lawyer firing back. It's just wrong that the federal government isn't acting in this area. Advocates argue a patchwork of states enforcing their own immigration rules would sow chaos. We can't have each state negotiating with Texas. It has to be the national government. The Supreme Court has said that over and over. Immigration, a top issue on the campaign trail and on Capitol Hill, where a bipartisan border bill former President Trump opposed is stalled as voters across the country press for solutions. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.